Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying the conference. Uh, thank you for coming to this talk. Uh, I joined Intel recently after stint at, stints at some of the competitors. And part of the reason uh, to join Intel is because I think it's uniquely placed to democratize by torch and by extension AI. Uh, it, has, it has range of products across the spectrum. Uh, you talk about client, data center, GPUs, accelerators. And, uh, and because of its com commitment to open software. So today I'll be providing an update on the progress that we have made uh, in enabling PyTorch and in building open solutions. We have been contributing to PyTorch for seven years. Uh, we focused on CPU optimizations earlier. Off late, we have been focusing on GPUs. Uh, we are among the top three code contributors to PyTorch. Uh, purpose is to provide seamless integration and best uh, training and inference performance on, on Intel hardware uh, for all your workloads. Uh, in PyTorch 2.4, we introduced support for uh, Intel data center Mac series GPUs uh, through source build. Uh, we continue to make progress on that. Uh, in PyTorch 2.5, uh, we'll have support for these GPUs uh, in the PyTorch release binaries uh, with, with other enhancements. Uh, one of the interesting ones is that uh, we have added support of uh, Intel client GPUs in, in PyTorch 2.5, and that basically means that you'll be able to run PyTorch on the Intel laptops and desktops that are built using latest Intel processors. So we, we, we think it's, it's going to unlock uh, you know, 40 million laptops and desktops for, for PyTorch users this year, and we expect the number to go to around 100 million uh, by end of next year. Uh, considering most of the PCs and laptops, sh they ship with Windows OS. Uh, we did the initial work to support Windows on uh, uh, Windows support in PyTorch and uh, to make it easier for all of you to use it. Uh, these updates will allow you to have a consistent programming experience across data center GPUs, across client GPUs, uh, and uh, you know if you if you can't wait to try your hands, uh, then you can download uh, PyTorch 2.5 RC binaries and you can, you can get your hands dirty. Now, uh, Intel doesn't build just GPUs. Uh, we also build accelerators. Uh, as you may know, uh, Intel offers uh, Gaudi accelerators um, for, for uh, as high performance and, uh, and high efficiency choice to data centers. Uh, we have comprehensive support of PyTorch and all the uh, PyTorch ecosystem libraries. Uh, we have optimized uh, most of the uh, you know, commonly used networks, uh, models, uh, and, uh, and, and, and representative models, not just uh, popular ones, uh, to have a solid uh, uh, price performance comparison with respect to H100. Uh, there are regular releases. Uh, they go out every eight weeks or so, and we have been able to, uh, you know, able to get the latest PyTorch releases supported uh, on time. Now, uh, as we talked about, you can start your development on Intel PCs and laptops, but you can also use uh, Intel Developer Cloud. Uh, and you can, you can try that by picking a, a free uh, cloud credit coupon from our booth, D3, uh, in, the, in the other hall. Um, yes. Now, so we, we, have, we have talked about PyTorch. Let's talk about PyTorch-based uh, based solutions. So Opia is a PyTorch-based project uh, that is contributed by Intel to uh, Linux Foundation, uh, AI and data. It's an open platform project uh, designed to simplify enterprise generation, uh, enterprise uh, adoption of AI, especially generative AI, and reduce the time to production of hard and trusted solutions. There are already over 40 partners, uh, including Hugging Face, Red Hat, VMware, ByteDance, and AMD joined recently. Uh, so the basic Basically, OPIA is uh, the, the, the bunch of composable microservices that you can integrate in your applications directly. It also has uh, off-the-shelf end-to-end solution for, uh, for, for some of the most common use cases, customer use cases like RAG. Of course, these are built on using these microservices that I talked about. Uh, we, it also provides a way uh, for you to measure uh, accuracy, performance, and, and throughput for, for your end-to-end -end solutions. 
All right, uh, there are many ways you can participate in this. You don't have to join the foundation. Uh, you can just you know, join the project. You can contribute code. If there are bug fixes, you can do that. Uh, you can bring other, other customer use cases that we are not addressing now, and we'll be happy to take your feedback and, and take your contributions uh, in OPR. All right, so uh, OPR builds on all the work that we have done uh, across the whole AI stack. Uh, Intel continues its journey to bring AI everywhere through ubiquitous hardware and open software ecosystem. Uh, we aim to provide seamless integration and best performance training and inference performance uh, for all your workloads and PyTorch is at core of that stack. These are, these are some of the mandatory legal disclaimers and notices, and this is the list of talks and posters, demos that we have uh, on, in, in our booth, uh, D3. I think it's on the left side of level two as you enter the other, uh, other hall. And that's all I had. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming.